Hey there everybody, this is Mr. Flores. Uh, I'm on the C-Rips Discord and helping people out once in a while and we had a question. Can we use something that we right-click to repair the item that we're holding in our hand? Oof, that is uh, I think possible but it's also a bit of a loaded question because yes, if you add a bunch of features together. So CMI check command repair will give us some info and uh, repair hand armor all for the player name. So CMI repair hand for the player name should do the trick. So CMI repair hand for Mr. Flores. Perfect. That is what we're looking for. So that worked. Um, CMI also has interactive commands and specialized commands. Using interactive commands when somebody clicks on a sign, for example, we um, might be able to run a command like CMI repair. So that's pretty cool because that means that a sign or a block or CMI uh, no NPC create repair sheep type is uh, sheep. There you go. This is <laughs> this is our repair sheep that we're going to use to repair what we're holding in our hand. CMI interactive commands allows us to add a command, for example, the repair sheep, that um, when at the block or the entity, okay, we're gonna do the entity. There we go, I hope that worked. And then we're gonna switch to the command editor where we can add a new command. All right, so using CMI repair hand for the player name, we can repair what we're holding. So if we use interactive command on an entity or a block or whatever that is registered with in, uh, the interactive command from CMI, then using specialized commands to run it as a console command, we can actually bypass permissions and not worry about what's happening. So as console, CMI repair hand for the player name. All right. What happens when I right click or left click? Nothing. When I'm holding something, nothing. When I'm right clicking without holding anything, uh, I should probably be in survival by the way, nothing. While holding my sheep, uh, <laughs> my shuffle I mean. Oh, it's repaired, it's repaired, it's repaired. This is so cool. Nice, the repair sheep is working. So, um, let's go to Finder, to here, uh, CMI, interactive commands, sheep, repair sheep. There you go, this is how it looks like in the file. We have an ID. And the command is s console see my repair hand for the variable player name. And the sheep is actually done with the N, uh, with citizens plugin as an NPC, and I'm not moving it so it doesn't like disconnect. But we can also put it on a block, I think. So um, let's see. Where is my repair? <laughs> oh, here, repair sheep. There we go. Look at the block. There we go. So we not only have a sheep that repairs what we're holding, we also have a block. And then the file here will change and we can see that we have an ID, we have a location and we still have the same command. We can also add something here, like a message for the player name, oops, that is uh, green and bold and says, try to repair what you are holding. All right, now this is edited in the file, so we are gonna go with CMI reload and we are done. Now if we right click on it, we are actually getting a message as well. So this is very flexible, very dynamic and easy to manage. So let's delete it because I don't want my players to infinitely repair something on my server. NPC remove. 
there we go and now when I do something here nothing happens everything is back to normal again ah yes we like that